Sega. With the introduction of the Tactics Creator to the Football Manager series, we made it easier than ever before to create your own tactics to tweak. So what have we done with the Tactics screen this year? Well, to be fair, you probably won't recognise it when you first see it. For a start, as you can see on the left-hand side of the screen, the Match Preparation panel, which used to be on the Training screen, is now part of the Tactics screen, and you can easily set your workload and focus here. You'll also see that there's now space for a starting tactic and two backup tactics. So you can have up to three tactics here at any time which can be easily switched between. So if you tend to have a home tactic and an away tactic, it's now really easy to switch between them. Next to that, you have your squad list with lots of different options to sort by. And then the pitch, which not only shows the players and subs that have been picked, but you'll also notice the addition of your match philosophy and strategy. Next to those is the selection button, where you can ask your assistant manager or any of your coaching team to pick the whole team or any free slots that you may have in your team or on your bench. You'll also notice that you can easily change the role that you've set for a player by clicking on the role box on the pitch. The first part of this box brings up the kind of role you can set and the second part allows you to set the player's mentality. You also have a new look team instruction screen. And a new look player instruction screen which makes it easier to set up player instructions and gives you more information in the right place to help you make your decisions, as well as making it possible for you to store player instructions for the different tactics that you've chosen, so you don't need to change the instructions every time you change to your other used tactics. And then you'll notice a new option called Shouts. Shouts was something introduced a while back to use during the match to act as tactic shortcuts to allow your team to get the ball forward or get stuck in or to use the wings, much like a real manager would shout during the game. With the new shout screen, you can make your own custom shouts and then use these during the game any time where you think they'll have benefit. So let's set one up now called Play Direct to remind me of my childhood growing up watching 80s Watford play. Now whilst Watford played direct, it was often to the wings, so I'm going to set it up to clear the ball to flanks, push higher up, play wider, hit early crosses, get the ball forward and exploit the flanks. And that's now ready for me to use in the next match. Also, although this is more about substitutions than tactics as such, the game now tells you if a player has a minor injury on the match screen and alerts you that you may like to make a substitution. It doesn't just happen when a player has a major injury anymore. 